Okay, Puppy, prove that EFGH is a parallelogram. And it is quite obvious that we need to prove another pair of congruent triangle in order to show that EFGH is a parallelogram. Because in part A, these two blue triangles are congruent. That means we have a pair of equal opposite sides. So if we have to, if we can prove that the other pair of opposite sides, they are also equal, then this will be a parallelogram. But again, we need to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So in order to save time, I've written down the step ED equals to BG. They are given equal to each other. Angle B, angle D, they are equal because of the properties of parallelogram. CD equals AB, properties of parallelogram. And then we do the subtraction. Subtract this part by HC, you get DH. AB subtract AF, you get FB. And therefore, triangle EDH congruent to GBF. And the reason is SAS, again SAS. And therefore, if we have another pair of congruent triangles. That means these two si pairs of sides are also equal to each other. Therefore, EF equals to HG. And EH equals to FG. Again, corresponding size. Opposite size equal.